Good evening, folks. Sorry about that. Um, had to restart my router. I don't know what was going on. I dropped a shitload of frames right at the start. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, good evening. Despite Nerd, uh, Lurkin Larkin, Dommy, uh, Mex, uh, Dosudro. Good evening, folks. How are you all? Uh, we're going to play some more Ronnie tonight. That is the plan. I want to start getting a few things tied up at the base. Now then, um, I did play for about maybe two cycles, uh, just basically to get a few things planned out and sort of so I could start figuring out the size of this base. Um, so if you remember, last stream, we, we did a couple of things last stream. We built this oxygen setup up here. Um, what the fuck is a router? A router? What do you call it? A router? A router. A router. It's to route packets. Do you route packets? Actually, do you, do you Americans say route wiring? Would you route a cable or would you route a cable? I don't want to get into, um, I don't want to get into a battle of language right now. Uh, yeah, so last stream we built the oxygen setup up here. We didn't actually get to, uh, to turn it on, um, but we've got this all built and laid out. Uh, we did a few bits of tidied up around the base and spread out a few things here and there, dug out a load of dirt and tiles that were around. Uh, we expanded, uh, let's see, we built this power grid down here, which we've now got set up and ready to go. Uh, we also slapped in some coal gens. We've got a little cooling system here that's cooling off some conveyor belts with some oil. Uh, we did quite a lot last stream. It didn't seem it, but we did. Um, did a lot of digging out here as well and a lot of exploring. We have got a few geysers that we've not unearthed yet. I uh, can't remember where they are. One's down here. And there's another one up here somewhere. Yeah, here. Um, I haven't done any more exploring as such. Uh, the, the map is just what it is where we left off. Um, but I did get a wheeze warp put in here. Uh, that's about the only thing that I did, I think. So yeah, I've, I've mapped out some, some tiles. And this is basically going to be around the width of the base. So this side over here. Uh, let's get off the thermal overlay. This side over here is going to be our little cooling room like we've got over here. Um... And yeah, I've just slapped in some granite floors for now, just to just to get us going. Yes, we route cables. I see. We route packets. Fish Ashley, good evening, buddy. How are you? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't understand the American American differences, I'm afraid. Uh, so yeah, I uh, basically a lot of this stuff we've done is just a super low priority, apart from this external ladder here. So I'm just gonna let my dupes crack on with some of this stuff. Um, I may need to dig out some abyssalite though, because I was crazy low on abyssalite. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Language is quite amusing. Neuro, good evening buddy. It is, it is. Um, it's obviously, it gets confused when we start discussing the differences between American, American English and English English, if you like. Um, right, once this bit's done here, I'm basically going to have a, a ladder. I've copied what I had over this side. Uh, this ladder is all going to go eventually. And we'll get all this all this squared out. We need to build a few of these rooms today. That's one of the first things that I want to do so that we can hopefully get our oxygen online soon. Um, one of our geysers, this one, is about to go dormant. Uh, next dormancy, 0.9 cycles. So we've basically got as much water as we're going to get from here. Um, which sucks a little bit. We do not have very much water backed up. So we really need this one to come online, which is going to happen in three cycles. So we'll start using this one. I literally just slapped a wheeze water up here. We may have to do some more cooling up here. Um, and I've made it so that they, my dupes can't get through this door. Uh, so that's that. So, oh. Let's do some of this as well. Um, so, once this is done, I can seal off this wall. I want to try and keep everything confined in the base as usual. Um, and then we'll square this off and we'll have access then up, up, up um, through a liquid lock here. Same as on this side. Uh, and then we can get out of the base. There's quite a lot of stuff I want to do today, so I want to get this digging done, square off the base, and then we can really start mapping out where things are going to be. <sighs> Yay for American English, eh? Hmm. Uh, you found three cool steam and a natural gas geyser right next to your base. Nice looking. Have we found a metal geyser yet? We haven't, nerd. We have not. Uh, you know all those old language rules? Fuck that. We're making this shit up as we go. <laughs> in fairness, that's how language evolves, though. So There are unnecessary use in the English language. 
I don't think so. Oh, shit. I'm going to kill QWERTY already, because I'm an idiot. Um, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah, I want to get some more of these chambers built, and I want to get these going. The only thing is we're going to have to turn this on temporarily to get some hydrogen gathered, or use this hydrogen that's up here, which is probably the easiest option in fairness. Um, so I might widen this out a little bit. Uh, in the base, we're still all right at the minute for oxygen. We've not got much. Uh, Algae-wise, we're at <laughs> one ton, which isn't great either, but I can always do another quick dig for algae. That's no problem. Um, I just started a new base, first time in the last couple of months. All the research and jobs seem really daunting to start. It also doesn't help that I have two steam guys and natural gas all super close to my start. I've yet to find an ice biome. Toasty base is toasty. Uh, first thing I'd say, nerd, don't worry about rushing your research anymore. The pace of the game has changed a lot. So you really don't need to rush your research all that much. I think we didn't finish our research to like cycle 100 or something. Maybe even longer than that. You just get what you need. Um, and have your researchers doing work, you know, when, they're, when you don't need to be researching, basically. Uh, toasty base is toasty. Get everything out of your base as quick as you can. Slap a couple of wee swords down, you'll be alright. You'll be fine. I believe in you, nerd. Uh, evolving language is no excuse for bad spelling. Yeah. Um, I've raged incessantly over the improper contraction ink. Damn thing got added to the Oxford Dictionary. Did it get added to the Oxford Dictionary? Really? Mm. They do add a lot of jargon and slang, and they do they do that every year. There's normally a few slang editions every year. I didn't think ain't would make it in there. What do I know? So. <clears throat> Seems devolving. Yeah, possibly. Why can't I build a beauty base just like you? Uh, tell me, I've not got a beauty base at the minute. It's a fucking mess at the moment. We've got dupes, dupes struggling for air and everything. Cayman, why? It's not a beauty base yet. We'll make, make it pretty in the future. But for now, we've just sort of got blueprints everywhere more than anything. All these granite tiles here, we'll put airflow tiles and metal tiles in later. But for now, we just sort of need to crack on with what we've got. I just, I like getting the idea of the shape of the base and I can start planning things out. Like I'm going to have, where where this is going to be another one of these chambers. I'm going to have some space here and same here and same down here. And I've not figured out what I want to do with that yet. Um, I'm going to need more rooms because I'm going to be taking more dupes. So a lot of these floors down the sides will become bedrooms and I'm going to need a big toilet floor and things like that. I'm going to need a lot of food production as well. So I'm thinking I might do crops outside the base here and here. But we'll see. I just I want to get it all mapped out a little bit and then we can decide. Um, so now that that's done, let us try and do this. Let's get all this done. Uh, everything else can stay as like a three for now. Uh, and I'm going to seal up the base on the outside here. Uh, seal this up. And get rid of this door. Because I don't want it. And we'll dig all this out as well. Boop. Beautiful. Scythe, good evening, bud. How are you, mate? How are you? Um, like the word decimation. I used to like that word. Decimation to decimate. Hmm. For, for some reason, I never use decimate in like a. I'm assuming decimate means to to cut into tenths. Or would it be hundreds of tenths? But decimate to me is always like an army was decimated by an explosion. Or do you know what I mean? That's how I picture it. It's like a, a war term. Um, I would. I've never used it in like an actual, a scientific way. I don't think. Things are symmetrical and organized. Eh, not at the minute. We're, we're, we're pretending to be organised at the minute. Tolzo, good evening. How are you, how are you doing? Are you alright? Uh, so yeah, for those of you that are on Discord, you might have uh, noticed, I posted some pics earlier. I've had my lovely niece and nephew around today, and gee whiz, they kept us a little bit busy. Um, in fairness, they're not that bad, but they're just a bit manic. Um, but it's good fun, good to see them. My sister and um, like her family, basically, the other side of the family, they live down south, so I don't see them that often. So I normally see quite a change in my niece and nephew whenever they come up. And they're only little, so. It was a nice afternoon. I had a nice, chill afternoon. I'm just fucking tired now. 
Fine as frog hair. Nice. That's a nice expression. Fine as frog hair. So, um, this is probably dormant now. So, whilst this is dormant, we're probably gonna I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit and then we'll do some some stuff in here. Um, this did manage to sort of keep up with a lot of our our steam, but I don't think I was getting the full throughput or anywhere near. I think this was overpressurizing occasionally when it was getting a bit hotter. So we'll probably put, put in some more temp shift plates and figure this out a little bit. Um, this one should start erupting soon, I think. And this will be active for 137 cycles, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, again, this isn't going to be enough cooling, but for now, it is what it is. Um, I need to connect this pump up as well at some point. Yeah, let's um, let's deconstruct this now. This is going to be uh, inactive for 37 cycles, which is quite a while. Uh, right. So as, nobody, as long as nobody gets trapped down here, this should be fine. And we'll get all this dug out as well. Mm, it works. I'll drop in out and lurk status, but at least I can watch from my peripheral. No problem at all, Sudra. Don't get in trouble, mate. Yeah, so let's go Google if frogs have hair. It turns out there's one species of frogs that does have hair. Really? Oh my goodness. Hairy frogs. What is it called? What's its, what's its scientific name? I'm intrigued. Uh, how's this doing down here as well? I've not looked at this for a while. We need some more gas in here. Oh, one thing I, I will mention as well. I did move a couple of pieces of conveyor. So I had conveyor down here. I don't know if you remember. My conveyor line came here and then bridged over here. Well, I basically knocked a couple of wall tiles out, went inside and put some conveyor just a bit straighter. It meant that my mushrooms were starting to get cool down here from the granite. Uh, but I've left this open. There's still a loader on the line, if you look. So what I'll do, we'll leave the loader in there for now in case I make any other changes to the conveyor. And then we'll close that up. Uh, this seems to be working quite well. Um, our oil is at just under zero. Oil in here is at minus two. Seems to be working all right. I like this little build. Again, we just need a bit more gas in here and we'll be fine. The coal gens are keeping nice and cool at the minute, and that's the main thing, but they aren't actually active all that often, so... Yeah, I think it'll be all right. I could have probably done with putting some more conveyor over the top of... Um, like running through the main body of some of these things, but... It'll be all right. It'll be all right. <clears throat> a bearded, bearded broski frogger. Um, mm -mm. The hairy frog, Trichobatracus. Tr Trichobatracus robustus is also known as the horror frog or wolverine frog. Central African species of frog in the Avrolep... Avrolep... Oh, Jesus Christ. Avrolep today, tie day, family. Jesus. I wish I'd never asked nerd. Holy shit. Uh, as a kid, my dad would say he had frog hair. Had a hidden string attached to a pocket and it would pull out when he raised his arm up. Nice. <laughs> that was hot steam guys are right next to my base. I thought it cycled. Just whack some, whack some tiles around it. Don't worry about it. Is there anything on the belt? Uh, yeah, Belisania. We've got granite on the belts at the minute. Um, which is probably not the best for, for our current system, but it'll, it's doing enough, um, which is pretty sweet. Uh, ideally, you'd want something like plastic or diamond, but that's a bit too lavish for our tastes right now, so a bit of granite will do for now. If ever we need to beef it up in the future, we can do, but for now, it is what it is. Uh, right. So, I want to get rid of some of this stuff. Um... I think I'm going to dig out some more of this abyssalite as well. Because we seem to be quite short on abyssalite at the minute. Yeah, you know what? We'll just go through here. We're going to dig all this out eventually, so it sort of makes sense. Yeah, we'll get all this going. Yeah, fuck it. 
Uh, in fact, I don't want to crack open this hydrogen. I quite like having all this hydrogen gathered up at the minute, so I might leave this here for now, because I'm going to use this in a bit. Um, we'll slap a few ladders in here for safety, and then I'll find out who's suffocating. Uh, who was suffocating and why? Are they okay now? Nope. One tile of polluted oxygen is trolling you that much. Yeah. Oxygen day. That is not very good, is it? <clears throat> Excelsior, how's it going, buddy? Just popped my head in to say hello. Busy catching up on your last stream. This one looks, this one looks phantasmagorical. Cheers, mate. Oh, you're very welcome, buddy. Thank you for the uh, for the kind words. Um, I won't show you too much. I won't give you any spoilers. Uh, I love thermal flask made of coffee. 18 hours ago, and it's still nice and warm to drink straight away. Nice. Hey, life got you want to do a quick tour? So you start this base and check back until now. Uh, in Spain, of course, by all means. Um, one second, let me just catch up on chat whilst I'm here. Uh, you, know, you can't use it for power because the steam generator needs a lot more steam to produce power than the steam guys can produce. Hello, nerds. Good evening, Domain. How's it going, mate? You can't use it for water since you need oil. It's a lead game geyser. Uh, despite what you'll what you'll generally find at the minute with, with most of the geysers in the game, steam turbines are great for cooling, right? You, you're going to have many sources of heat, whether it's hot CO2, hot polluted oxygen, uh, a leaky oil fissure that's at 500 degrees or whatever. There's, there's lots of different hot geysers and not too many cold options in the game. So what you'll find is you'll normally be using these other hot geysers to create really hot steam to warm up turbines to, to cool steam. Right, Because a steam turbine reduces uh, the temperature of the steam that passes through it by a fixed amount. So you can technically use steam turbines to process steam to a fixed temperature, eventually. So you're taking the heat from somewhere over here, using it to boil water, which uses some heat. You can use polluted water, obviously, and that can get rid of some polluted water as well. And then you use the rest of your heat to heat up your steam turbine. When the steam passes through your steam turbine, you're losing heat. So it, it's sort of a cycle. And all, that, all you're basically doing is removing heat from one system and consuming it in another place. It's it's a bit of a balancing act with with a lot of guys. There's a lot of them are late game. In fairness, there's not many that are early game. Exceptions probably being the slush geyser and the hot water geyser that comes out at like 95 degrees. The rest of them are pretty late game. Uh, there are there are polluted oxygen geysers that output polluted oxygen at 60 degrees, which is pretty early. Uh, and chlorine 60 degrees as well. That's that's pretty manageable. Um, how hot does steam have to be for turbines now? Above 265, I think it is. 265 degrees C, I think. But normally you'll you just cook them at like 600 degrees or something like the hotter they are the better as it keeps your steam flowing you know. Uh, Red gnome, good evening bud. How are you? Uh, base tour. That's what I was going to do. Um, so starting point here, uh, we've got we've we've literally at the end of the last stream we set up our power grid. So we do have a bit of a power grid that we're going to expand upon. I've also laid out the blueprints for another one on this side of the base. So we're going to have two of these grids. Um, Realistically, we don't have much machinery in the base at the minute. We've got some massage tables in. Uh, we've got all the room bonuses we can at the minute. We've got some uh, rec rooms, uh, barracks, mess halls, a quick dirty med bay. We're still on normal outhouses at the minute. Uh, we've got a couple of stables. Um, but yeah, we don't really have that much at the moment. We're still. Uh, oxygen for the base is provided by these two algae deoxidizers. That's it. We're at cycle 200. Not got much algae, but we'll be fine. Uh, we've got bedrooms all over the place. We've still got some spare beds down here. We'll probably start taking some more dupes soon. Uh, we've got some meal lice that we're growing here. Um, we've got a, an oxygen setup up here that I'm going to get toggled on soon, all being well. Um, this is something I'll explain a bit more later on when we start building some more. Uh, we've got some hatches that we're farming down here. Some hatches farming down here. Uh, we've got a polluted water tank. We've got our starter water and we've got a pure water tank. Uh, we've got our power grid, as I mentioned, which is just basically some transformers and batteries, and then our main bank of batteries on the bottom. And we've got some coal gens, and then we've got a cooling system here, which is cooling everything down with conveyor belts and an aqua tuner in here. And then we've got a mushroom farm, and we've started heading down to oil, but we're not quite there yet. 
So, oh, we've got a little rock granulator over here as well, which is just happily playing away. Um, which is making me iron. Which I don't have much of. Uh, so that's about it, really. We've, we've found a couple of geysers so far. Um, we've got a chlorine geyser, a cool steam vent, cool steam vent. Uh, we've got a carbon dioxide geyser down here. 